Hello friends, today we are going to talk about backpropagation in neural networks because this topic is kind of quite difficult to get hold of. So let us try to first put down a fully connected layer that is connected to a loss function and we do feed uh, the input that is in the form of a matrix that gets multiplied to the weights and then there is an output that's y. And why if we try to multiply and write this, that would be having this kind of format and we can try to put down in a uh, brief uh, manner in which we can just write down y11, y12, y3, and the expansion is just a complete uh, multiplication uh, of each one of the <coughs> weights and input multiplication. Now, if we try to find out that what is the most important thing that we are looking for here is these kind of gradients, uh, dual by dual x, that's partial differentiation with respect to x and partial differentiation with respect to w. Because these are the two inputs that would be useful. And let us suppose that we know dou L by dou y here. So dou L by dou x, if we try to focus our attention to that, so that would be a scalar to scalar differentiation, and that can be rearranged in, and can be written as this. And uh, the term that we would be interested in is dou y by dou x one one. That can be found by just differentiating this uh, green highlighted part, uh, and each one of the terms within this matrix can then be uh, done like this. And because this is a scalar quantity on the left hand side, that's why we just need to broadcast these two matrices, and the result is going to be the multiplication of all these individual terms. And if we try to do that for all different terms and try to put them together, then this would be dou L by dou x11, x12, x13, and x23. And if we try to put together like this so that we can rearrange back into a matrix, then dou L by dou x would be uh, something like this. So we place all each of the individual values and we rearrange then that's going to be just the top product of these two different matrices. So succinctly, we can write it by saying this is dual by dou y that we already assume that we know uh, dot product of the weight. Now we try to go back to our earlier uh, proposition and that's what we started with and we have dual by dou x and we try to then find out dual by dou w in the same manner. So if we go to the individual terms, dou L by dou W11, then again, that can be rearranged the way we write it for dou L by dou X, and we focus our attention on dou Y by dou W11, we differentiate it, we again write it in this fashion. And then finally, it can be written down because it is scalar, then that would be just an addition of these two things. We again try to write everything in this uh, fashion one by one, and we bring it all together that how each one of the terms that is partial differentiation of loss with respect to these weights is going to be something like this. And then we started substituting these values back to my original matrix. And that can be finally rearranged, and we finally find out that this is dot product of x transpose dot 12 by 2 y, that is the differentiation of the loss with respect to the output. Now we come back to our earlier rearranged value of dou L by dou x. So we write uh, um, this whole thing in a summary. We can just uh, arrange everything back like this. So we have a fully connected layer, a loss function, there is input, and we try to find out back propagation of loss with respect to x and w, and we can write this formula. But the weight is going to be this. So that is what we are interested in when we try to actually back propagate everything. So dou L by dou w is something that we are interested in because we try to find out the gradient. But now let's do a quick uh, dimension balance. And here we see that we have 12 by 2 x, that's 2 by 3. 12 by 2 y will be 2 by 3. And once we take the dot product, then that's going to be 2 by 3. That perfectly match. And let's do the same thing for L by 2 w. And we find that these two things also perfectly match. If we do the dot product on the right hand side, that's going to be 3 by 3. So thanks guys, thank you for watching the video. We will in the next video try to actually find out how we actually have applications for this.